Hello and welcome to Virtual Investor Conferences. My name is Eric May, and on behalf of OTC Markets, we're very pleased you have joined us for our next live presentation from Crown Exploration 2 Limited. Before I introduce our speaker, a few points to note. Please submit your questions in the question box to the left of the slides. If you are interested in scheduling a meeting with Crown Exploration 2, please click on the meetings tab found in the left navigation bar. You'll be able to view the company's availability and submit a meeting request. On a final note, all of today's presentations will be recorded and available for 24-7 replay. At this point, I'm very pleased to welcome Shane Schoenfeld, Chief Executive Officer of Crown Exploration 2, a private company. Welcome, Shane. Hey, thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Shane Schoenfeld. Uh, I'm one of the founders and currently serve as the CEO of Crown Exploration since its founding in 97. Uh, who is Crown? Uh, Crown Exploration is an oil and gas company with over 26 years strategically drilling wells in proven fields by utilizing newer modern technologies. We specialize in identifying new and existing fields, infrastructure, acquiring leases, permits, navigating the regulatory environment. Crown organizes, manages, and utilizes experienced operators and partners on each offering. We rely on over 150 years of combined oil and gas experience to successfully acquire and drill our oil and gas wells. Why a crown? Uh, in 1997, uh, crown was a newcomer and we cut our teeth in hot spots like the Barnett Shale. Our strategy was to work smarter and harder investing in exploratory wells and leasing mineral rights to promising properties. Throughout the 2000s, we developed long-term relationships with geologists, landmen, recruited industry professionals and employees, most of which are still with us today. We continue to strategically drill by applying new technology to proven areas and our well numbers are over 225 in Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Colorado, and Montana. This is a, a production map of a, a lease that we have up in the Panhandle of Texas. And I want to take a moment and, and kind of talk about the importance of this and, and what Crown looks for uh, with well control. Uh, we go into proven fields. We utilize information from surrounding wells to help form a plan on how we drill the well and even frack the well. Production data from all these surrounding wells here in yellow uh, the, the section here highlighted in orange is, is our lease. Uh, it also helps us set production expectations uh, for the wells that we drill. This is an example, of course, of one of our leases. Uh, and you can see that there are nine wells highlighted there in yellow. Uh, and they all have the same characteristics within this 640 acre section hi uh, highlighted here in orange. Some of the wells are more than 50 years old. Uh, see one there is drilled in 1969. Uh, has produced over 8 million, 8 billion, excuse me, 8 billion cubic feet of natural gas, affirming the fact that oil and gas can be a long-term investment. Uh, and that's kind of what we look for. We look for areas that we can strategically drill in with proven production. No one could reasonably argue that this section isn't saturated with oil and natural gas. On this next map, this is a cross section uh, or a horizontal illustration is what I like to call it. And it, basically what we've done is we've kind of uh, simulated peeling back the layers of the earth to simulate what we're drilling through. You, you'll notice at the top, the drilling rig there, uh, and you see TVD. Uh, total vertical depth of 6,000 feet on this particular well. And we go horizontally into the pay zone, approximately 9,000 feet, exposing 9,000 feet of producible pay. Uh, and that's a vast difference. And, you know, in the 90s, when we, in, in the late 90s, when we started out, we were drilling some vertical wells, exposing, you know, sometimes 10, 15 feet of, of producible pay. Uh, this horizontal drilling has really changed the game along with uh, new techniques and fracking uh, have, have really 
uh, opened up a lot of, of these oil fields here back in Texas and Louisiana uh, uh, and, and all around. This, uh, this particular uh, cross section here, uh, we have a total measured depth of 15,000 feet. Once again, 6,000 feet vertically, 9,000 feet horizontally with a total of 15,000 feet uh, total measured depth. Uh, this is a typical look of what we drill in a blanket formation. Blanket formations are vast areas that can cover you know, up to hundreds of square miles where the rock is acted as a sponge. It's absorbed all the oil and gas over millions of years and fracking helps unlock and efficiently extract that oil from these blanket formations with wider margins of producible pay, hence the 9,000 feet of producible pay. Uh, so combining these two, uh, modern fracking technologies and long lateral or long horizontal uh, exposure of producible pay. A typical joint venture. Uh, a typical joint venture with Crown, on average, uh, we, on average, uh, our projects have between 30 and 50 units. Uh, our, everything is sold via units. Uh, investment ranges from a fraction of a unit uh, to multiple units. Ultimately, you can become a partner for as little as $30,000 uh, investment. Uh, and we've had some invest even, you know, much more, uh, up to a million on any given project. Uh, drilling in proven areas, employing the newest drilling and fracking technologies, <clears throat> income based and, and seeking income. Uh, and of course, that's based on monthly production uh, with aggressive tax benefits. And I'll get into some of the tax benefits in a minute. Uh, but that's what we, we, we package these in a joint venture, sold in units. Uh, it's offered and sold through our exclusive broker dealer, Texas Securities. Uh, I'll touch on them in a, in a second too. Uh, average is 30 to 50 units. Uh, unit cost uh, per unit, uh, plus or minus 280,000 per unit. Uh, income is based on monthly production uh, and tax benefits. Uh, I'll get to that in just a second as well. But that's a typical what it looks like uh, or what we put together in a package in, in our joint venture. Uh, this next uh, slide here is, is, is probably one of the most important. Uh, there, you know, there's, there's two factors that, that we look for in our oil and gas prospects is, is you know, what do we think income can be? What do, you, what do we think these wells can produce? and tax benefits. And that's what our partners generally look for. Uh, potential tax benefits, uh, I've kind of outlined them here and I've, I've used kind of a base example of $100,000 investment. Intangible drilling costs are 100% tax deductible in year one. Tangible drilling costs are 100% tax deductible, excuse me, over the life of the joint venture. There's also a small producer's tax exemption, uh, to depletion allowance of 15% of gross production. Uh, that is tax free over the life of the well. Of course, it's subject to some limitations. Uh, of course, you need to get with your CPA. I'm, I'm not a CPA, but I've done this long enough to know that, uh, that these are uh, uh, allowables and active deductions. Um, active income deductions are used against business income, salaries, capital gross income, uh, as well as interest income. You will not find these tax benefits in stocks, real estate, or any other investment uh, that I know of. These valuable deductions work to reduce your overall tax burden. Uh, and just kind of run through these numbers real quick, and I can spend more or less time in the Q&A. But the uh, drill and test invest, uh, investment of $100,000 uh, the intangible drilling costs, roughly 85% of the $100,000. First year tax reduction, uh, $31,450 based on a 37% uh, tax bracket. Uh, your, uh, your net tax reduction, uh, $68,550. Uh, again, 
consult with your own tax professional for tax advice. Tax benefits are subject to some limitations. Uh, but again, you will not find these tax benefits in stocks, real estates, or, or really any other investment that I'm aware of. I'm going to move on to the other side. Well, we talked a little bit about the, uh, uh, the tax advantages, and now let's talk about the income because uh, we don't do this just for tax uh, benefits. We do this for income potential. I'm using the same $100,000 uh, investment amount that I used on the previous slide. That's a $100,000 investment, and I'm applying a 1% net revenue interest. So one, you would own 1% uh, of, that, uh, of that particular joint venture, that particular wealth. Uh, in one month, uh, at this uh, at this example, uh, the well has produced 3,500 barrels of oil and 15,000 MCF of natural gas. Uh, I've got uh, pricing at 85 and 750. Of course, uh, market prices do vary and, and fluctuate. Uh, uh, so this is just an example once again. Uh, 297,000 uh, on oil revenue. That's for the whole joint venture and 112,500 for the gas revenue, again, for the whole joint venture. And I have operating expenses listed at 25,000 for the month. The well income, the total income was $384,000. And and we're using a February production for that. And uh, your your production income, uh, plus or minus would be 3,000 $845 $845 on a $100,000 investment. Uh, that's approximately a 46% uh, ROI, and that's without any tax benefits. Uh, this income, you know, would helps not only to diversify your portfolio, but it also builds wealth outside of the stock market. And, and again, this is only an example. Uh, production and pricing numbers, you know, will vary. So we've gone over the tax uh, side of it, as well as the income side of it. Uh, I mentioned earlier uh, that our joint ventures are offered through our exclusive broker dealer, Texas Securities. Texas Securities was uh, formed in 2003, uh, 20 years exclusively selling uh, for Crown, registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission, member of FINRA and SIPC. Uh, all of our brokers uh, are either Series 7, 63, 22, and SIE uh, licensed. The broker dealer has annual regulatory audits, including Regulation BI, which sure some of y'all are familiar with. Uh, we have an in house compliance team. Uh, Crown uh, holds weekly, monthly uh, meetings uh, with Texas Securities to keep them up to date on our projects, uh, industry news, knowledge, well status updates, uh, production reports, you know, pretty much anything uh, to the day to day with Crown, Texas Securities is a part of. Uh, Crown is the issuer, uh, but our joint ventures are sold through Texas Securities, uh, a broker dealer affiliate. In review, so I went pretty quickly on this because I was hoping we'd have a little bit of time to get some Q&A. Uh, Crown, uh, we've been drilling wells for 26 years, uh, and, and I think that's important uh, when looking at, a, especially a private oil and gas company. You know, uh, that's one thing you can't buy or teach is experience, and we've had 26 years of, of drilling these and putting these joint ventures together. You have access to our in-house team of experts, our investor relations center. Uh, our, our One of our primary philosophies is applying new technologies in proven areas. Uh, again, uh, I, the, the production map of the eight wells, the surrounding wells, you know, some are 50 years old, uh, drilling in those blanket formations, horizontally uh, fracking, uh, you know, that's our expertise. That's where we, you know, really really are in our comfort zone. That's really where we feel like uh, uh, we, we stand out from others. Uh, 
If you're a U.S. citizen, uh, accredited investor, and you're looking to diversify your portfolio, you're looking to add monthly income, reduce tax liability, oil and gas may be for you. Uh, at Crown, uh, you know, we believe if you minimize your risk, you maximize your returns, and we do so by applying the technologies in our proven areas. Uh, when investing in oil and gas, you should fundamentally look for a company with industry experience, and we have that licensed representation uh, and transparent communication. Uh, we stand strong on a 26 year uh, commitment to provide a white glove investment uh, experience. Uh, we have a tradition of excellency and transparency. The crown experience. Uh, this, uh, this is a picture of, uh, of our uh, Texas securities team uh, on a well location this year. Uh, over the years, our partners have really come to appreciate the white glove aspects of these investments. Uh, once the investment is made, Crown, we do all the work. Uh, we communicate with our partners, uh, TSI brokers, and through our website. The Online Venture Center, uh, it's a one-stop shop for our investors. Uh, to access up-to-date information on drilling and completion of, of any of, of, of their wells, uh, either on a a weekly, daily, monthly production, uh, direct deposits, you know, pretty much anything you can think of uh, on the back end to our partners, uh, joint interest billing statements, uh, a history of K-1s uh, for the wells, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we also, uh, when time and weather allow, we do uh, like to hold uh, at well or at location visits uh, for our partners to go out and see the well while it's being drilled, completed, uh, just to be able to touch it, uh, to feel it, uh, to see what their investment and where their investment's gone and what, what that is, has made possible. Uh, and I encourage folks to do that. Uh, on this particular slide, I've highlighted our website, which I believe it's also uh, uh, tied to my page here. Uh, our telephone number, welcome to call anytime and speak with any of us. Uh, see us in person. We're in Carrollton, Texas, or of course, schedule and uh, meet us at a well site. Uh, I want to thank everyone for joining me today. Uh, I I'm, imagine uh, we may have some questions, so I've set aside a few minutes uh, and try to answer some of those for you. Uh, are these K-1 investments? Uh, yes, you will get a K-1 uh, at the end of the year. Good question. I see operating expenses deducted from well income. Uh, can you speak on managerial expenses? Um, yes, uh, usually you're talking a few hundred dollars, uh, you know, uh, postage, K-1 fees, et cetera. Uh, it is in our memorandum. Uh, expenses are listed, you know, per joint venture. Uh, so be easy there. It's, it's uh, you know, a, a fairly insignificant amount. Good question, though. Uh, when someone invests in a unit, are they becoming an owner of a new well? Uh, yes, uh, we typically, I wouldn't say we will never, but typically we we uh, are, we drill new wells uh, in, in existing fields. Uh, and yes, uh, if you purchased a unit or a, even a fraction of a unit, you would own uh, your proportionate share in that particular well. Uh, it is in a joint venture. It's managed through a joint venture uh, and it's paid through a joint venture. So, you know, you wouldn't have to go down to the courthouse and 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 uh, fill out any paperwork to get the gatherer to send you a check. The, the check is sent to the joint venture and then we disperse the funds uh, monthly. Good question. Uh, can you discuss historical returns? Also, what price per barrel does an investment become profitable? Uh, our historical returns on our wells are, is in the back of our uh, memorandum. Uh, they're listed. Uh, in fact, they're listed uh, in what was raised uh, on the drill and test side, the completion side, and what has been returned uh, to the venture. So all of those are in there. Uh, I won't get into speaking on uh, particulars, uh, you know, it, again, it's all in there. Uh, also, uh, what price 
uh, per barrel does an investment uh, become profitable? Uh, that's a good question, but it's uh, it it's it's it can be difficult to answer. Uh, there's not a there's not a blanket price. Uh, you know, again, we've done this for for a number of years, 26 years, and I remember when we started out. Uh, you know, we were selling oil for ten fifteen dollars a barrel, and, and we had profitable wells. Uh, at that time, it really just depends on where you're drilling, you know, how much obviously it takes to drill a well, to complete a well. And then also, uh, what kind of infrastructure do you have around your your field, around your lease? You know, is there a pipeline? Uh, is, uh, do you have to truck things in or out? Or can you run it through a pipeline? Do we have storage facilities, et cetera? So all of those, there's a lot of facts. So my answer is there's a lot of factors uh, that go into that. And uh, that's something that at Crown, we try to try to foresee and look to the future of, of you know, where, th- where, where things could go, where they may go, uh, you know, and all of, all of those are taken into consideration. So, uh, yes, it's, it's true that, uh, you know, some wells, some, you know, I've seen wells that, uh, you know, 10, 15 barrels a day that were profitable versus a 200 uh, barrel a day well wasn't profitable. But that's all, the, the, all those things are, uh, you know, uh, obviously there is some, some market risk there, uh, but it's things that we try to negate with, uh, with our drilling costs, completion costs, and our uh, surrounding infrastructure. A good question. Is there a secondary market for the units? Uh, no, there is no secondary market for the units. Uh, these are, uh, uh, the, the short answer is just no. Uh, and y'all probably know kind of why, but uh, these are just joint ventures. Uh, I've had people that, uh, that have uh, gifted them, uh, given them to grandkids, have put them in different accounts, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but we're not a market maker in it. And, uh, don't facilitate that kind of thing. How do I find out more about investing with Crown? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, there are several ways you can do that. Uh, you can call us. It'd probably be you know one of the easiest ways. Uh, 972-395-1133. Uh, you can also visit us uh, at our website. It's www.crown, C-R-O-W-N, exploration e-x-p-l-o-r-a-t-i-o-n dot com uh, you can uh, shoot us a message uh, inside that uh, you can read up about us kind of look at uh, kind of what we do we've got videos etc if you want to do that before you call or you do both uh, you could visit us uh, uh, at our office in Carrollton we are in Carrollton Texas uh, that's just in between Dallas and Denton uh, Texas uh, some of y'all may know where that is, uh, but welcome that at all times too. Uh, so I would suggest call and or website. It may be the easiest way. Uh, you could also message me, you know, via this platform, uh, and I can uh, get back with you there as well. So great question. Let's see. Are you worried about uh, the current presidential administration regulations on oil and gas. Uh, you, know, you know, politics and economics can slow you or speed, uh, slow you down or speed you up. Uh, but whatever the environment, we've been through it all here, uh, two and a half decades and, you know, we're still standing strong. So my short answer is no, uh, we don't drill on federal land. Uh, so that really hasn't been an issue. You know, I'm sure people have heard about shutting down, you know, drilling in Alaska and things like that. We don't do that. Uh, we we we, uh, we don't drill on so not so much. Uh, but again, uh, uh, current administrations and policies can can speed you up or slow you down. But um, we all find a way to, to work within it. So, but good question. Good question. Question. Let's see. How are management decisions made within the offering? A uh, simple answer is venturers vote on all major activities concerning their joint venture. Uh, everything to, you know, drilling, completing, work over, you name it, uh, uh, we vote on it. Uh, the venturers vote on it. Now, I say that, uh, you know, it's it, we don't just say, hey, y'all decide. Uh, 
uh, you know, we give options or we give opinion and we give, you know, some, some advice on that. Uh, but at the end of the day, the venturers uh, control it and they do vote on all of it. But very good question. Let's see. Beyond the initial investment, uh, what if any other tax advantage? What if any other tax advantage? Okay. Um, well, even beyond the initial first year write offs, uh, active income deductions can be taken since the Tax Reform Act <clears throat> exempts oil and gas working interest from being classified as passive income. Uh, the small producers tax exemption is where 15% of gross income uh, for an oil and gas property is tax free. Uh, but as always, you know, consult with your CPA. But, uh, but yes, uh, there are, uh, uh, you know, depending on, on what, what you're looking for, depending on, you know, working with your CPA, there are, there, uh, there are strong tax advantages and uh, active uh, drilling. Great question. I think that's it uh, on the questions. I think we're running out of time as well. Uh, once again, I want to thank everyone for joining me today. Uh, thank you for all the questions. Uh, and again, uh, crownexploration.com is our website. Uh, call us 972-395-1133 if you'd like to learn more. Uh, look forward to speaking with you and hopefully answering some questions. Uh, have a good day.